self-care looks different for everyone, but during Pride Month, it's an opportunity to make space for those who want to celebrate and care for their community. To talk about that, I am joined now by Kamala Williams, founder of The Lotus Project and host of the upcoming Self-Care Sunday. Welcome back, Kamala. Hello. Thanks for having me. Thanks for being here. Alexis Williams, board member of Project Spot. Hi, Alexis. Hi. And Charlie Croy, owner of Hand Tied Pride. Welcome. Hello. Hello. Thanks for being here. So, Kamala, how do you define self-care and why are you hosting this upcoming weekend event? Well, you know, our p- political climate right now has has everyone's mental in in not a good state. There's lots of laws that, that are being passed towards the LGBTQ community that have us all, you know, just feeling uneasy, especially here in Florida. And so I wanted to create a day where we could just kind of let that go for a moment and, uh, you know, experience some community, come together, um, hear about some resources that may be needed to help with your mental health, um, and provide some tangible resources for those who may be struggling financially. And you have uh, Kamala's Closet, which is an, an enterprise that you've undertaken that does address need in the LGBTQI plus community. Tell us about that project, because that is something else that you do on a regular basis. Yes. So Kamala's Closet is a gender affirming clothing closet uh, resource that provides a safe shopping environment for the trans, non-binary and LGBTQ at a, as, at a whole. Um, so it's a genderless store. Um, it's a swap and shop. So you can bring in clothing that no longer fit your identity and then switch it out for clothes that fit your new identity. And why is it important to have a safe space for a community that, you know, sometimes is having a dysphoria or kind of an anxiety experience in a traditional um, retail outfit? Because of what you just said, the dysphoria of having to choose a gender uh, can sometimes, uh, you know, mess with your mental state. Um, dressing rooms can always be a challenge of trying to figure out, you know, when you pick your items, where do you try them on at? Um, will I be safe when I go to try on my clothes? Um, there's a lot of first time uh, things that happen in, in transitioning, knowing, putting on your first dress, your first pair of heels, your first bra, being able to ask those questions in a regular retail store for someone can be challenging and daunting, not only for the person in need, but for the sales clerk who may not be trained. Uh, on how to answer those questions or how to help that person. We, you know, create a space where you can can walk in and say, I'm I'm looking for my first pair of heels. I'm looking for my first bra. Uh, You can try on a dress and come out and twirl and do a spin and ask, how do I look in this? And we can say, that's your color or that maybe not your style. Let's 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 pick out something else and you not feel judged or feel that, you know, you're making someone else uncomfortable. That's that's so interesting. Charlie Croy, you are the owner of Hand Tied Pride, and you're a part of this self-care Sunday that's coming up. Tell us a little bit about your business and what you're going to be presenting um, on Sunday. Absolutely. So um, we do a little bit of everything. Hand Tied was born during the pandemic. Um, My partner and I were talking about how we wanted to bring comfort to the community because even then there were struggles and it's only gotten more intense. So we have an emphasis on comfort where um, I'm described as a walking pride flag. Uh, so we want to make sure that visibility is top priority. And, you know, so many people left the state within the past couple of years because of this legislation. So we're definitely trying to make a stand and say, hey, not only do we see you, but you're visible. We try to get all the flags that people don't think about very much, like pansexuals. They love seeing their flag on things. So we love making things for those people so that we say we see you. You're valid. You're celebrated. You deserve comfort. So this um, we're really excited about Self-Care Sunday because we make these aromatherapy rice packs. Um, they're good for hot and cold therapy, and a lot of people will put them in the microwave, put them on their shoulders, they're mobile. So it's not like the newest concept ever, but the thing that we do with it is we make it pride. So it's covered in rainbows. It's um, something that you can customize, different scents, different prints. We always say every flag, every identity, welcome. Um, and we're just trying to really get out in the community and say, hey, we're here to make you comfortable. Yeah, and so having that representation visually is just as important in terms of creating that space. Absolutely. Even just walking down the street, I'll see people, you know, who see whatever I'm wearing, including like our necklaces that we make with the different flags, and they're so excited because they get to connect and they get to say, oh, more people like me. I feel safer. I feel better. And especially with so many people leaving the region recently, it's like, it feels that much more empowering to be that person for other people. Um, So we want to make sure that we're getting out there and we're saying, hey, it sounds like everybody left. The news has been really dreary, but here we are. We're still walking proud. And ultimately, it's friendly. It's a great community. Things are positive. So, like, we want to just keep reinforcing that. It's scary. It sounds scary, but it's not all bad news. (laughs) 
Alexis, I want to ask you about your the work that you do with Project Spot because that's kind of a new initiative and it's also really interesting what it's addressing. Yeah, definitely. So one in three different one in three people are actually affected by uh, the period poverty. And so explain what period poverty is. Yeah, definitely. So it's just um, those who cannot get the resources to have a hygiene products such as pads, tampons, even discs. So these things that are extremely expensive, there's gaps in the access that people can reach to. Get and so to. you help connect people to those products and to kind of make sure that they're they are taken care of. Absolutely. So Kendall Moore actually started um, Project Spot. It began with a blog. And so with the um, reception from the success of her blog, she actually began to okay, say, OK, we need to have period pouches here in Jacksonville at different stations, such as Kamala's event, self-care event, um, to have access to period products in the community. Well, the event is June 23rd at 11 o'clock. Kamala Williams, Alexis Williams, Charlie Croy, thanks so much for being here. Thanks, thanks for, for having, having us. us. Thank you.